getting ready to do a thermal paste change. Uh, clean the PS4 Pro as you can see. Now I'm recording this with my tablet so if it's not coming out uh, very clear, well, I'm sorry. Here is the new product. This is called the uh, MX2 Thermal Compound uh, by Arctic. As you can see right there. And this is uh, four grams in the tube. So when I get to that point, and I'll show you the, the product, here's the information on the back. So the MX2 is 28% or 28.35. I mean, I can't see through the camera. So it keeps it 28.35% cooler. I shouldn't say percent, but 28.35 Celsius. Uh, that's on full load. Arctic Silver 5 is 28.85 Celsius. So the Arctic Silver 5 that everybody's saying is the best, it's not the case. And it shows it right there on the packaging. It also shows up in the top right hand corner, it says full load as the color variances. And you can see this is with the full load on it, and it's 28.35. Okay, so here we have the cover off. I'm not going to make a video of tearing this down. I do advise you to clean everything, wipe everything off as you go. Uh, take extra good care of uh, the fan and the heat sink coils. Make sure they're nice and clean. I'll show you this one as uh, you know as we go. Um, let me see if I can close this curtain a little bit. I actually don't want to close the curtain because I need the light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear into this. And then I'm going to uh, show you the fan when I get it out. And I'm going to show you the heat sink coils. And I'm going to show you the thermal paste. I took out the board, board and here is the thermal paste. As you can see, it's not on there very good. It wasn't even touched in the side right here. Um, so that's the application that uh, Sony plays to the APU. Here it is on the heat sink. And it's not very dirty at all, actually, inside, but I'm going to still blow it out. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that uh, in most cases that uh, if you get a loud PS4, applying it with some good thermal paste and uh, putting it on right would be a start. So you can see that, how shiny it is over there. That's not the proper way. That's going to, that's going to transfer heat. And another thing too, I noticed the uh, tensioner, you want to call it, that holds the board down onto the heat sink wasn't even tight. So that could have been another reason why it didn't spread out uh, evenly across the uh, APU. So just wanted to show you guys that. So I'm going to clean that all off and uh, I'll show you. I'll open the package for the the Arctic uh, MX2 thermal compound. This work with rubbing alcohol. Uh, make sure you get this really clean, and uh, also with the heat sink. So I also like to share with you guys uh, a lint-free way of cleaning the APU would be coffee filters. Uh, you won't get no lint transferred from whatever you're using onto the APU. And you don't really need to worry about getting the compound off the little chips around the sides, but uh, try to get some of it off. Now you just want to use a Q-tip, clean it off somewhat, and then use your rubbing alcohol. But the coffee filters work really good so for here that. we have the old thermal compound cleaned up. I'm not going to worry about the little chips on the side. They're fine. Um, you could take your Q-tip and you could try to get some of it off, but uh, it's not really necessary, you guys. It ain't gonna hurt it at all. You'd be here all day trying to get that off. So really, it's not necessary to get that completely off there, but 
There it is. You want it nice and shiny like that. And there's the heat sink cleaned off. Um, I'm going to take a quick look at the fan and stuff inside the heat sink and see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, I got the heat sink out and it is somewhat dirty, as you can see. Get it in the sun. I'm going to just go blow that out and uh, make sure it's nice and clean. So I don't have to take it apart again for another couple of years. This is only a year old and that's how much dust that's accumulated around it. So just to show you it's more than a year old cleaning, it probably needs done. Um, here is the inside uh, where the fan is. As you can see, there's a lot of dust that accumulates down in there. You want to take the fan out. And you want to uh, give that a clean. Here we'll flip it up. As you can see, the dust, dirt. You want to clean that all out, wipe that all out with alcohol. And uh, blow your fan out. So let's take the fan out. I'll give you a quick look underneath the fan because I can guarantee that's going to be dirty. So we have the fan taken out. As you can see, the dust and dirt that's in and around there. And the fan is not too bad. I'm just going to blow it off. A lot of fan or dirt likes to connect or collect up and around where the uh, motor is and stuff. So I'm just going to blow this off lightly and uh, clean this and wipe this all out uh, with a cloth and some alcohol. Let it dry. And uh, pretty much that's about it with this. So let me get this done and I'll show you after it's all cleaned out tell you when you're blowing your fan off don't hold it by the steel casing like this and let the air blow and turn that fan because that can ruin your fan you want to hold your fan so it's stable and then don't allow it to move and then you know gently blow it out with air so hold this down so it doesn't spin on you because you don't want that spin in the air spinning that around so we have the fan blowed out. I'm going to show you the fan really quick. I was about ready to put it together. There's the fan. It's all cleaned out. And I cleaned out the bay. As you can see, it's nice and clean. Um, it's pretty much all you really need to do with these. Uh, and then you just start uh, assembling everything back together. Set your heat sink. Oh, yeah, I want to show you that. As you can see, nice and clean. No dirt in there. I got the heat seat back in. I forgot to also mention, you'll see these little rubber pads right there. They're right here. They uh, cover these, uh, I don't they call them resistors. Anyways, they sit right here on these. So if you're going to take this apart and blow it, you want to remove them off of here. As you can see, I applied them on there. Now, before you go putting this together and putting your compound on, you might want to give this a quick wipe in just in case some dust get on there. So you might see some dust. If you are cleaning and a PS4 is very dusty, so you might want to just give it a quick rub with the alcohol and uh, we'll open this thermal compound and we'll show you that. So I gave that a quick cleaning. Let's put the cover back on the rubber and alcohol before I knock it on the floor. Um, here is the thermal compound. Uh, this is, like I said, the MX2. There's four grams in a syringe, and you apply a bead to that, and do not apply a bead to that. Everybody makes a mistake and nobody does that. You don't need to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply a bead of thermal compound. Let me actually get out of the light here so you can see. So I'm going to apply a bead on there. Like so. And the story is they have out uh, applying too much is a bad thing. No. That's a bunch of bull crap. There is, I mean, well, making a mess. But you can see I applied some there on the chip. I'm going to spread it around with the the end of this. But uh, they say you can apply too much and it's not good for it. 
uh, test has been proven that uh, applying too much of this stuff is not the case and uh, basically they did tests and it never hurt it at all it actually helped cool it down actually a little better so don't let them uh, tell you that information it's just false and it is best to smooth it out yourself uh, like so now they have liquid metal out there everybody's talking about that I would never use that stuff on an APU I wouldn't use it on anything because a lot can go wrong with it and if it's not professionally installed you can ruin your APU and the uh, little circuits around the board or your APU Okay, so as you can see, I applied it evenly all around, and I'm not putting any on the heat sink. I'm going to just set that right down. So let's get this so, together. Now I have the spring, I guess you want to call it the bracket, spring bracket, wherever, uh, put back on the board. Um, as you can see, it's holding it down, and like I said last time, this one was loose, it wasn't even tight. And on that board, or on that APU, you can see there was an, an evenly coat of uh, uh, thermal paste on there, so that probably could have been the reason why, but also it wasn't put on a spread on. I don't take time to do that. And that's why a lot of these systems, they get hot. You should have an even coat of uh, thermal paste on that APU. So let me get this back together in... Uh, also, I forgot to mention too, um, the thermal pads. Uh, each one of these memories should have one millimeter pad on each one of these. And these are fine. I'd change them. I'd put some new stuff on. I have some stuff coming. It's in the mail. And I'm just, I couldn't wait. So I wanted to change it out and put new stuff. And uh, but when they do come, like it's nothing to take the top off and put them on because you don't have to take it clear down to the board. And I also recommend those uh, ones that goes across right here, uh, like I showed you, to remove and put them back on the chip itself. I uh, replace those as well. Now I have all the ribbon cables all plugged in, antennas, and I think there's two antennas on this. Uh, this would be an antenna, I do believe. I'm not sure. Yes, it is. And this is an antenna, and this would be white. I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is the power to your fan. Make sure you get that plugged in. If you don't, you're going to have some issues. So I got the top on. I'm just going to put the screws in, and we'll get it all together and hook her up. To you is to start with all your fine threads. Uh, in around this area is all fine threads. Here is a screw. You can see it's a fine thread. These are all fine for it thread. These are all fine thread. Um, you got one fine thread here, and you get a fine thread right there. So put in all your, here's another fine thread. Put in, oh, another one right there. Put in all your fine threads, and then uh, uh, work your way on the outside of your the parameter of the board. Flip it over. Don't put any screws in here because you, remember, one of these screws, I think it's this one right here, uh, holds down the power supply on the other side. Yes, it does. This one this one and uh, this one okay so leave these ones out and uh, just do the outside to be more specific what screws on this side holds the power supply down in the back um, is this one this one and this one so once you remove those and the screws on your power supply you'll be able to pull it out and it pulls out fairly easy so let's flip this around. And another thing, do not forget to put the screw back in for your antenna. You don't even need to remove this. You can keep that in there. Um, like I said, all fine thread screws clear around here. Fine thread screws there. Fine thread screws here. Uh, fine thread screw there and there. Um, here. Actually, all the, not that one, all the, uh, Phillips screws are the fine thread. 
So it's pretty simple to put together. And they got arrows on each one. You can see there's an arrow right there. Wherever you see an arrow, that's what screw needs to go in on this part. So when you're putting this together and you don't have your power supply in, you're like, well, how come these here aren't going in? Uh, well, the reason why is because the power supply is not in yet. So flip it around. That's why I said leave these screws out. This one, this one, and this one. Leave them out. Flip it back around. Put your power supply back in. Put all the screws in for your power supply. And then flip it back around. Put these in. Clean your covers, your panels. These just pop right off. As you can see right there, the dust, there's a lot of dust. So make sure you wipe them all off, blow them all out, and uh, put them back on. You see these little holes right here, these here? Well, this is the back. And you know how usually you get three screws to take out of the back? You get your security screws that you remove the sticker, you avoid your warranty. Uh, I will show you that you take just the center one out here and it's just got one screw and then the other one is just a snap tab and it's the same thing for over here so that's all it's holding on the uh, cover so there's a snap tab right there if you can see it and there's a screw in the snap tab that's all there is holding the bottom on so here we have a hook back up and I will give you a review of what I think uh, how the thermal paste is working um, how much cooler it's keeping it. I also have a external fan that has two big fans right here in the back and then there's two or three there's three fans that uh, pulls the air out of the PlayStation it doesn't push it in so everybody's a, a misunderstanding of that which does help it does help a lot so uh, the only thing I find with these type of fans is um, you got a lot of dust in your house, it probably fills them up quicker. But I can't see that really being the case because you get that huge fan in here right now, and that is going to do the same thing. So, uh, pulling the hot air out uh, of your machine quicker is better for your gaming and your console. And it actually uh, prolongs the thermal paste on the APU. So thanks for watching you guys. I'm going to hook this fan back on to the back of the console and I'm going to give you a review on how the fan noise is. Uh, this was loud. Um, as you can see why, probably because the thermal paste on the APU was even evenly spread out. It was somewhat wasn't even on it in places. So thanks for watching. Rate, subscribe, and uh, please like the video. And I'll be setting up a review on the uh, thermal paste, the MX uh, 4, I think it was, the uh, thermal paste, and we'll see how you like it.